was 12. Steven Spielberg came to Krakow and they were making Schindler's List. I decided I need to see him, you know, just once in my life I have to. And so happened that my mother had some friends who had friends who worked there and they got me something like a fake ID to get on the set and to see them roll the movie. And I was there hiding, you know, knowing that I have to be invisible and just waiting for that one perfect moment for a break just to catch him, just say a few words, you know, with Steven Spielberg. And I actually got that. Uh, there was a break. Uh, he decided he can talk with me and suddenly I had like interview that I recorded. I had my t-shirt signed by him and he was so amazed by it. He said like, I never signed a t-shirt. And his face was like, I'm a rock star. He took my color markers and signed it all, but it was wet. So he put it on the table, took his lamp and started drying it. He said, we have to wait for it to dry. So we're waiting and waiting and the time it passes. And I realized everybody's waiting, you know, Liam Neeson is on stage with his poker face, just waiting for me and my t-shirt. It was like half an hour, but I got this t-shirt signed by Steven and we were all so happy, you know, like children. <laughs> but then, the next time I went to the movie set, I wanted to find that person who made it all possible that lady who got me this ID. I had some gift for her and a copy of that interview. Uh, but it was a different spot. It was like vast space with grass and field. My mother dropped me on place and then I, I went there, started looking for her. And that's when I realized I'm being recognized. And that was not good. I didn't imagine that someone would remember you know, with such a crowd, with so many people would remember some little girl that was one day there. But suddenly security appeared, like one, two, three guys in dark suits. It's summer, you know, summer, all sun, and these guys were like Matrix, standing around me. And then the producer came, they searched my bag. I was feeling like I'm in the camp. And I pulled my first acting stunt on them. I was just thinking, there's a line they're not gonna cross with a little 12-year-old girl. And I just started crying and playing dumb. And they actually let me go. So that was my biggest acting adventure when I was 12.